Welcome to the APA PsycInfo tutorial. APA PsycInfo is an EBSCO database brought to you by the American Psychological Association. It gives students access to information in journal articles, book chapters, and dissertations. Content on APA PsycInfo is vetted and updated regularly, making it a great choice for research in fields related to the behavioral and social sciences. This is the advanced search page that will allow you to type in your keywords for your search and, as you scroll down, apply filters to help you find the results that you need. An example research assignment might be to find a peer-reviewed empirical study published within the last 10 years on a topic of your choosing. First, let's apply filters to meet those parameters before we type in our search terms. Let's first select linked full text to make sure we get the entire article and not just the abstract. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can go to publication date and select past 10 years. And under that, we can select peer reviewed. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can select English language. And if we scroll near the bottom, we can look for methodology and in the drop-down menu, select Empirical Study. Now, let's go back up to the top and type in our search terms. An example research topic might be the impact that music has on learning and studying. The search terms we would use for this topic would be music and learning or studying. Notice that APA PsycInfo has an autofill feature that can help you come up with additional key terms for your search. You can choose to use these or not. You can use the drop down fields menu to the right of each search box to help you narrow down your search. This is helpful when you need to search for sources by a specific author, title, or journal. When you're ready, click search. At the top of your results page, you will see the number of records matching your search. For each record, you will see the title, and above it, we should see that it is peer-reviewed as we selected that in our filters. We can also see the subjects and information about where, when, and by whom it was published. When you see an article that matches your search, you can click on the title to open it up. After you click on a record, you will get more detailed information about that article, including the full abstract. Click Access Options to select how you want to read the article. You can also download it. A couple of important features to note are the citation button near the top right corner of your screen. In the drop down menu, you can select your citation style. Most likely, it will be APA. While these are very helpful, keep in mind that these are computer generated and it is important to review them before you submit them. There's also a print button, and next to that, under Share, you can find the shareable link that will help you get back to this article. Please use this link to come back to the article and not the link in the address bar, as the link in the address bar might give you an error message the next time you try to use it. We hope you found this introduction to APA PsycInfo helpful. For further assistance in using this database, your Middlesex College librarians are here to help, so be sure to check out the library both in person and virtually.